Hi, my name is Amy Gabbard and I will be performing a scene from Luther, Season 1, Episode 1. It's where Luther is interrogating Alice. I see you got your PhD at 18. Astrophysics, was it? Dark matter distribution in disk galaxies. Dark matter? That's the stuff that makes up the universe. Except we can't see it. It doesn't interact with stuff we know about in the way we'd expect. No. But its presence can be inferred by the gravitational effect of visible matter. We know it's there. We just can't see it. Will most police officers be able to gain my trust by having this conversation? Well, I just like to read books. Beats burning them. You, though, you're the one who's practically a genius. Practically? So, you went into Oxford at... 13. Wow. Well, I mean, that's very young. It's bad enough just being the clever one in the family. All these kids, prodigies, they have it really tough. They're not one thing, they're not another. Freaks, really. So I expect your parents were proud. Very. They're newspaper articles. Pictures of Mum, Dad and me, smiling in the library. When I was nine, I proved tangent minus one X. They bought me a dress. Got me in the news. Still, you must have been like 30? Your classmates are what, 20, 22? No friends your own age? No boyfriends? That's quite a presumption. Actually, I matured very early. Sexually. <clears throat> You're familiar with Occam's razor. All things being equal, the simple solution is the best solution. Well, what this principle tells me is. The only other person we know to have been in your parents' house this morning, it was you. I don't see how it's possible to arrive at that conclusion. Well, there's no evidence of an intruder. But the absence of evidence is an evidence of absence. Okay, fine. I'm making a leap, but it's tiny leap. More of a pop, really. Is this where you ask if I hated my parents? It's about that time. Yeah. Did they make me a freak? Yes. Did I hate them? Absolutely. Did I kill them? No. Can you prove that? Can't prove a negative. Can't be done. Well, innocence is a negative. It's the absence of guilt. Meaning the burden of proof is entirely yours. If you think I did this, you have to demonstrate how and when. And I wouldn't be able to do that, would I? Well, you can certainly try. Because there's nothing. You don't interact with the stuff we know about in the way that we'd expect. Your presence, your actions, they can only be interfered by a certain absence. Is that a compliment? Absolutely. I hope you're not trying to beguile me. I wouldn't be so foolish. But here's the thing, Alice. Right now, you can revel in your brilliance, but people slip up every single time. Well. That's just faulty logic postulated on a perfect data collection. For instance, what if you only caught people who made mistakes? That would skew the figures, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? But really, that's the thing. Most criminals, they're just not as clever as they think they are. Well, that must get monotonous. For someone as brilliant as you.